So I'm at an auction and these conveyor motor controllers come up for bid. Who wouldn't want 80 industrial conveyor motor controllers, right? Well, the rest of the world turned out to be the answer to that question. After gathering dust for a while, it was time to see if these things were useful. These are 24 volt DC cards which drive 24 volt DC brushless motors. They're meant to be industrial line roller controllers. And the actual kind of motor that these are controlling are brushless motors with sensors. Uh, there are two different kinds of brushless motors, brushless DC motors. Uh, you can have one with or without the sensors. They're basically Hall effect sensors that tell the controller where the position is at any given time. So I found this is a really good deal if you're looking to control a DC brushless motor that has sensors and you need to keep a steady speed or be able to control some project that you have with you know steady or varying speeds this is a hybrid controller uh, which means you can actually make changes using dip switches or these little pots on the board or you can make changes from inputs on these different pins so it's really versatile if you want to control it by an arduino you can do that uh, if you don't feel like doing the programming, you can just come back and set your switches and go with it. Uh, also, what I've done here is just put a potentiometer across a couple of these leads and some really good documentation on this thing. Uh, there's a PDF that explains exactly what all of these pins do and what the dip switches do. A lot of it relates to how an assembly line might run, but you can transfer that over to your needs. The only thing I couldn't find is the pinout uh, for the actual motor. And that's why I had to buy this controller off or this motor off of eBay just to hook it up and and uh, get these figured out. Um, I'll put a picture of that somewhere in the video near the end. But other than that, everything's very well documented. Now, to give you an idea, the things you can do with this. Um, like I say, I've got the potentiometer across, which is going to adjust the speed of the motor. This is a 10k potentiometer, which is what the book calls for. Right here you can change direction by a switch and these can be high or low sensor depending on how you set the uh, dip switch. Ah, get back on there. There we go. Some other cool features, you can adjust the ramp down and ramp up. If you notice, right here it'll stop immediately. If you don't want it to be so abrupt, you can change this to where you like. This is the slowest spin down we have. If you notice when we start off, it starts off nice and slow. It's because I've got this ex this acceleration switch set that way. We can set for a nice slow startup. Or immediate. And again, if you don't want to use the potentiometer, you don't have to. We'll unhook this. You see you can use the speed control right here.
So if you've got a project you think this will be useful for, you can find these on eBay. I'm going to sell the 80 that I have on eBay, but every time I go up there I see some that are cheaper. So if you just search for these, the model number is uh, 9006, Interroll 9006. And like I say, you can get these for, I've seen them as low as 20 bucks. And the ones I have up, I think I have them for 40, something like that. But either way, you can find these. I think they're a good deal. And I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching.